Harry, it's been a long time. It's been many, many years. And as a matter of fact, just that one win in a, in a span of about a decade against Stanford, what does it feel like to beat such a respected program in order for you guys to get to that next level? It felt good. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Like, I'm just so proud of my team. We bounced back after the tough loss last weekend. This tonight show what my team is really made of. Um, no matter the rankings, no matter who's on the other team, we executed the game plan, played together. We showed so much heart, and we defended and rebounded when it counted. Okay, I, Ari, you didn't play on Sunday in the loss with Colorado. You know, I know your foot is hurting, and you played an average game for you before, and as far as scoring, but when you, you were out of the game and brought back, came back in with four minutes left in the fourth quarter, what did you say to yourself that you needed to do? I had to find a way. I couldn't use my injury as an excuse. My team needed me, and I think I showed up tremendously, showed so much uh, leadership, and I just thank God for my abilities, and my coaches and my teammates believed in me, and I'm just so happy I can't even explain it. No. What, what did Adia say to you guys down the stretch in overtime, you know, when the game was so tight? She said we got to find a way. Uh, we got to fight. And we have to rebound. We have to help Dominique rebound, and we have to lock in defensively. Yeah, I was impressed. Your teammates stepped up, Sam Thomas, Amari Carter, Dominique McBride, because you weren't scoring. And Kate, you know, Kate's not feeling as well. She, don't, she didn't have a point tonight. That's your second leading score. But you guys found a way, maybe one of the biggest wins ever in history here at Arizona. Yes, ma'am. Coach Barnes just told us, like, I want to say the top win in a long time. And a long time, yeah. Just credit to my teammates. They they stepped up tremendously. And um, credit to Coach Tara and Stanford. Uh, they made it uh, tough for me to score. And yeah. <laughs> it was really tough. Probably one of my probably worst games, honestly. Uh, I'm not happy about I the four. About that. I'm on, not yeah. happy about the four turnovers, seven for 20. That's it's not good. But like I said, my teammates stepped up at the right time. How's your foot? I'm doing better. You're doing better. I mean, you, you, there was grimaces. We pointed it out on the air. You're going to play through it. You'll treat it, obviously. Yes. Ice, crazy, all the things. Elevate it. Probably, as far as workouts tomorrow, not a whole lot for you, right? No, just no. resting. <laughs> all right. You had a moment after the game that we were able to recreate. You you went. You hugged your teammates. You thanked this, this crowd. But then you found your mom and dad. I mean, you found them. You went up there. They're hanging out over here next to us now, letting them listen to the interview. How, how On moments like this, how much does it mean to have the people that helped to bring you to this point part of this crowd it means a lot my parents I'm I'm so grateful for them they raised me the right way and I just want to make them proud that's one of my lifelong goals just make my parents proud and just I sacrificed a lot they sacrificed a lot for me to get to where I am now and just I want to make them proud I think they're proud of you Harry along with a lot of other people keep it up take care of that foot thank you nice job great thank job you.